What is going on, everybody? Just the Savage here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be starting a brand new series on our channel, and judged by what you can see right now, we are going to be starting a playthrough on The Forest. Yes. I have been contemplating this for about a few days now. I got this game, like, three days ago. I was on sale. They took $5 off. And um, for a limited time, it was only thirteen thirty nine on the scheme on the Steam um, on the Steam website. So I decided, you know, why not? I've already watched like bits and pieces of walkthroughs, tips and tutorial videos um, on YouTube, and I figured, why not? You know, try this game out. So um, I've already have a grasp of what the game is like. Um, to give you a very basic summary of what this game is, it's basically like, it's a survival horror game. You and your child survive this plane crash, and, the, and your child ends up getting kidnapped by these cannibal freaks. And the goal of the game is for you to find your son and escape the forest. And this forest is a very harsh environment. Uh, cannibals and mutants are just running amok and you have to cut down trees and build your own base and and all this other stuff. So, before we actually get into playing the game, I'm gonna go into the options because and we're gonna go into controls over here. And, to, and Crouch mold, hold what? Like a hold down what? Like like what? The hold, toggle, hold. You know, I think I'm just going to put it into toggle mode. I think it will tell us like what buttons to press and stuff like that. Um, sprint mode. Um, I'm gonna keep that to hold um, because I'm not playing with a, a gamepad. I'm just going to turn rumble off. Uh, invert look, um, I'm going to keep off X sensitivity, Y, in y sensitivity. Um, I'm going to increase these to 75%. Um, mouse smoothing, I'm going to increase that to this. Advanced controller support, um, I do not know what this is, so I'm just going to keep it on. Allow devices, all devices, yeah, we're going to keep that on. Uh, and then we want to go over here to key binding because this is what I want, um, so inventory we press i okay i'm used to that i play minecraft and that's my default for it survival guide that's b uh movement it's the wasd keys you know common in these kinds of games uh left right yeah jump you press the space bar run you hold down left shift crouch you press left control and in the world, you if you want to take something, you press E, you press G to drop something, rest to Z, press Z, save, press C, um, lighter, press L, craft, you press C. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. I remember in a walkthrough that you can only do, you can only save when you're in, like, something that you've built, like a base or something. Uh, map, utility, you press P, map, you press M walkie-talkie you press Q okay but now that doesn't make sense because if in if in this game you're the only person that you're if you are the only one that's surviving then why would you need a walkie-talkie that's probably for like a multiplayer thing or something I don't know um, you for the item slots you press you press the numpads of one two three and four to build in uh, rotate you press R build you press e so that's when you actually want to place down something uh and multiplayer yeah this is just for multiplayer only you press the tab key but since we're not going to be playing um multiplayer in our playthrough uh we're just going to click here onto single player and um i bet we can i bet if i forget like what button what button to press i can i bet there's like an options in the pause menu so without further ado let's get started with episode one of our forest walkthrough series we're going to press new game and um i'm going to put it on normal because i've never played this game before but I've only seen people play it. Now, I know you guys can't hear the game right now. Um, I'm hearing everything through my headset. Um, for some reason, when I try to turn on... Oh, here we go. It's a little laggy. Hopefully this isn't a problem. Okay, you know, for some random reason, you know that whenever your kid, like, pulls out 
you know that something bad is going to happen. Uh, oh, man. Okay. Okay. Actually, I've already seen this, so I kind of expected this. You know? The screen is going crazy. <laughs> Ooh, that looked painful. Why, hello there. <laughs> yeah, it's like that isn't freaky enough as it is. Okay, hopefully, I may have to turn down the quality to low because if, if lag is going to be a problem, then, uh, you know, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to turn this down to low quality, so I am going to do a jump cut here. I will be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. So now you're going to see, you know, like a large majority of my, um, of my screen background, you know, my actual desktop. But I hope that's okay. So we're just going to go back in here, and what happens if we press continue? Oh, we're going to have to do that all over again. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to press new game, and then I'm going to do a jump cut. And then when I, when, when that opening sequence is done, I will resume the recording. And we are back. So, uh, and we're covered in blood. I never really understood how that worked, but, um, okay, so we're, so we have to eat something. Okay. So I have to remember that I need to hold down E in order to interact with things. Or when I just want to pick stuff up. So, so yeah, it's just you are basically the only one who survives. Well, next to your son, of course. And, um, and I recommend that you take everything out of here. Do not leave anything behind. And a lot of people also say that you, that it's, that when you're first starting out that you actually use this, like, as your base. But the thing is, is that this is such a condensed area and there's very little building space. So, I'm, so, to tell you the truth, I'm actually just going to ignore those people. <laughs> um, but, uh. So, so yeah, it's just, okay, so we got an axe. And, uh, by the way, for those of you who are about to see, do, please do not play with axes until you're, like, 50, okay? So, um, so what we're going to do is that we're going to start breaking some of these bad boys open. And, uh, you see that these, um, uh, cases are locked. But, um, we are going to, um... What we are going to do is, well, what, what you have to do in order to open these is that you basically have to bash them against the head with your axe. Um, so, uh, that you basically do that with a lot of things in this game. Yeah, you, you bash them upside the head. Uh, so, yeah. So, we're just going to a open up a few things, you know, take whatever we can find. And let me tell you something, wherever you crash land is completely random. Every single time you start up a new game in the forest, you will always crash. I just heard something. Okay, it was probably the deer over there. But anyway, um, you will always crash land in a random spot and depending on where you land determines on what kind of things that you're going to find firsthand um, and stuff like that so we're basically going to be picking up a lot of this stuff right now it's, it's really good to have a large abundance of stuff with you at all times um, so so right now I'm just grabbing some basic necessities and I have to keep an eye on my health and thirst because that is also something that you need to keep in mind in this game. That if your hunger goes down, you will start to take damage. If your thirst goes down, same thing. I think you guys are also going to love this. I think you guys are really going to love this. Um, your character, if he dies, um, he dies. So it's permadeath. So what I mean by that is, is that if your character dies, you have to start the game all over again. It doesn't matter if you've saved your game, and it doesn't matter if you were able to load that game. Once your character dies, you have to start the game all over again from the beginning sequence, which you guys just saw. So 
There's that for ya. To tell you the truth, I'm really not a big fan of that, but I also understand that it adds in some uh, some immersion. So um, now what I'm basically going to do is, um, where this is actually a good building spot right here. It's right next to a water source, which is good, and it's also right next to our crash site. So that is really good. So, uh, so I'm going to start, um, I'm going to get out of crouch mode first. I'm going to press B to open up the survival book because we need you to open the survival book. <laughs> but anyway, um, so, um, so in the survival book, you have a bunch of different tabs, and these tabs um, all show you different crafting recipes that you can use to build um, basically um, almost anything. So um, we have shelters, we have food, storage, custom... You know, basically, if you want to build something yourself, if you don't want to use one of the prefabs that the game already has, you can build something yourself. We have furniture, we have small traps, uh, the basics of survival, we have boats, signals, to-do, stats, crafting, nature guide, and notes. Now, um... I'm thinking that you can write your own notes. Is that possible? No, nope, it's not possible. Um, at least I am not quite certain. So, um, so that is the survival guide, and something tells me that we're going to be using that a lot. So now we're just going to cut down a tree. <gasps> cutting down a tree. 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 Okay, you can move a little bit faster, you know. I'm holding, uh, like, I'm, you know, I have to click. Okay, I have to click. Um, we're only halfway finished. <laughs> okay, uh, so we're just going to keep on clicking and clicking and clicking. Oh, I only had to hit it two more times. I am such a ninny. Okay, so now, um, oh, I just forgot. I, I basically cut that cut down that tree for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, so I actually have to set something down. So let's see. Let's go over to our um, shelters, and um, I think um, I've seen a lot of people they they do like small cabins first because they're very easy to build, and the building system is a lot like how it is. Okay, I was trying to rotate it, but I'm, I confused R with E. So, um, so now what we have to do is we have to come back over here to those logs that we cut down. If I can find them. Do I have to cut down another tree? Please tell me that I do not have to cut down another tree. Oh, there it is. I'm complaining for nothing. Uh, okay, so it fell over here. And your character can only pick up two logs at a time. So, so if you cut down a tree and you and and you're trying to build a base, you can only carry two logs at a time. So you guys have to uh, remember that. Um, now, two uh, now bases will take a different variety. Uh, will take. Every single base and everything that you build will take a certain amount of things for you that you need in order to build it, which is quite obvious. So we're going to start building this thing. I hope that this is going to be easy. These smaller trees, when you cut them down, will give you sticks, and you're going to need sticks when you start building some of the basic weapons. There is a decent variety of weapons in this game. Um, actually, I think I should crouch because, um, in this game, they've added, um, the, it's, it's very immersion, it's very immersive, like, if, if you were in, like, in an actual survival situation where everything you do makes noise, and when, and, 
when you make noise, it will attract nearby predators, and I hope nothing is coming my way, because, you know, if that happens, that would be bad. Uh, so, I'm just going to cut down some of these trees in the immediate area. I am not going to venture too far out just yet, and I can't carry any more sticks. <sighs> Hopefully this isn't like Terraria where my inventory is just constantly full and I can't do anything about it. So I'm going to come over here to storage and I'm going to build something called a stick holder and I get and you guys can probably already guess what you need to build this out of. So this is a stick holder and you need to build it out of sticks. Lovely. Um we're just going to place that down, and now we're going to build a building. Anything more? Yes! <laughs> but I'm just going to collect some more, and then I will start... Uh, I will continue, excuse me, to um, build um, our base. Oh man, well, I think we're ready for war. I really need to stop talking. Now we're going to cut down a really humongous tree with this um, tiny axe. So, I guess while I'm, uh, you know, cutting down a tree, <laughs> um, I'm going to ask you guys, uh, how have you been? Um, what do you think of me starting this whole new series on my channel? Please leave me, let me know in the comments section below. And um, I would also like to give a shout out to um, a couple of my friends on PSN, if you guys are watching. Um, I would like, oh man, yep, yeah, I'm exhausted. Okay, I'm exhausted. I'm just going to uh, give it a rest for a second. Um, I would like to give a shout out to my friend Dorian and also to a shout out to, uh, to a... Um, to my friend Dakota, who is currently on a camping trip right now, and he won't be back for some time. Now, I did see that bird land on your hand, and a lot of and one person said that if a bird lands on your hand while you're idle, that's usually a bad omen. And um, please forgive me if you do hear barking in the background. That is my dog. Well, one of my dogs, anyway. So, okay, so some clean water to drink. And because I do not have, excuse me, because I do not have a cooking pot, I can't, and because I don't have a campfire just yet, um, I cannot, um, I cannot boil water to drink. So, okay, this is probably going to cost me some damage, but I am going to come over here to this nearby spring. That is, if this is a spring. Oh no, it just leads down the mountain. just leads down the hill. But, um, I really need to find some water. I, I mean, but here's the thing. I mean, my water thing is only half full. Uh, so, so there's that. Uh... Did I pick up any water? Oh, wait a minute. Um, let me go into my inventory here. Let me, um... Okay, so... Okay, so we can drink soda as well as water. Okay, so... That's good. That's cool. Um... So I am... So now I'm going to get back to that tree I was cutting down ever so effortlessly. Uh, look at that. <gasps> look at that. I only have to whack at it a few more times before it falls. Hopefully not on me. Because, you know, that would be bad. You can fall now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Going to pick these up. Now, depending on the height of the tree will determine how many logs it actually gives you when you cut it down. So that's another thing that you have to keep in mind. Uh, we are almost finished here. Well, I think I'm going to have to cut down at least one more tree before that base will be completed. And then I have to... And then I have to focus on making a... Um, a uh, campfire. And then... One th and then another thing that I have to do is is that um, I have to go out into the woods, which sounds really daunting at the moment, and I need to look for a campsite 
For some reason, people have camped here, you know, just regular everyday people who were not in a survival situation, who have actually camped here, and who have actually sailed here and ended up getting their faces mauled off by cannibals. Um, but there is a campsite that I'm pretty well aware of that um, holds a, um, that has, excuse me, a, um, a, um, a cooking pot. Man, that took me a while to form. Um, so, so, yeah, so, um, cutting down another tree. This one is definitely smaller, so that one is definitely not going to take as long to cut down. Um, so, yeah, we're going to need that cooking pot if we're going to be boiling water anytime soon. So, um, so there's that. So, uh, you are going to be finished. How many more logs do you need? Okay, uh, it requires 13 logs, so that means I need five more. Well, you can tell by the, uh, text at the bottom left-hand corner of the game screen that you are currently seeing right now. I'm just going to break open another one of these, you know, just for the heck of it, because we may need it. And, uh, we're going to go into our inventory. We you don't press B, you press I. Uh, and we're going to, um, eat a couple of snacks. And, um, the snacks actually do give you a decent amount of, um, hunger, you know, I, I give you a decent, yeah, I mean, they don't give you hunger, but you know what I'm saying. So, I'm going to cut down, wait a minute, um, let me see, are there any more logs? Did that tree give any more logs for me that, when I cut it down? Uh, okay, that's not a log. Well, it is a log, but it's just part of the decoration. Um, okay. Um, I'm just going to cut down on another tree because, you know, I can. And, yeah, the blue meter um, on the HUD, um, the one that's going down every time I uh, make the axe motion, that is your stamina, and that will go down every time you perform a vigorous action, such as running or climbing or cutting down trees or attacking. You can come down now. I need you. I need you. Come on. It doesn't really take this long. Well, it probably does in real life. Um, okay, I'm just going to wait for my stamina to go back up a little bit because I do not want to tire him out. Or is it a her? I don't know. But, um, so we're just going to keep on cutting down this tree and cutting it down and cutting it down and cutting it down. Come on. Come on, it doesn't take this long to cut down a tree. I mean, yes, I can understand it if it was like one of those large trees, but this is a small tree. Every time the axe hits it, it sounds like a gunshot is going off. Isn't that interesting? Oh, all I had to do was move. There are so many things I need to learn. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to need uh, the the other logs. Okay, one more tree, and then we should be golden. Um, I, can you cut down the stumps? I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, no. No, you cannot cut down the stumps, which is weird. But you can hit them. I bet if I kept on hitting that stump, I would have figured... Oh, oh my! Oh, man! Oh, man. I heard something. I just heard something. Oh, it's an ugly! It's an ugly! <gasps> Come here! <gasps> Come here! Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, there you go. There you are. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm about to die. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, man. That that did look painful. Um, Hold on. Oh, hold on. I, I do need to eat something before I die. Before I die. Uh, medication. Medication. There we go. The meds will actually heal you. Um obviously um oh 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 please don't tell me that i need that please tell me i'm gonna be carried off please yes please tell me i'm gonna be carried off 
Okay, yes. Well, not the best beginning. <laughs> but, um... But yes, there are actually one of two outcomes when you run out of health. One of them is that you'll be dragged off um, by the cannibals and sent to this underground place. And you have to escape, which is what we have to do now. Um, or the second one is you'll die and we have to um, start all over again. So, so now we need to get out of here. Um, I have absolutely no idea where I am right now. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what happens when you, that's one of the things that happens when you run out of health. And for some random reason, uh, it was sunset, so I really couldn't see very well anyway. Um, but, uh, so I just collected a skull. That's just great. Um... That's not weird at all. Uh, uh, of course, you do make you do combine a skull with a stick um, to make a mace of sorts, which has better damage than this thing, this um, this axe. Okay, there there is a piece of a map. Okay, or that is the map. And we also collected a compass, and I believe that that is the only compass in the game. Um, so, uh, you know, um, you really have to feel bad for these people because they went through hell. Um, okay, let's take a look at this. A jealous god punishes a parent fault on their children. That is actually a reference to something that you see later on in the game. But I am not going to spoil that for you guys. So, um, there has to be a rope around here somewhere. I can't just be wandering around in the dark here. Um, so, well, I am actually, you know, wandering around in the dark. <laughs> but, um, okay. Um, I'm going, let me see what else there is over here. This is, remember guys, this is my first time actually playing this game, but not my first time actually seeing it in action. So, um, so, you know, to tell you the truth, I was kind of expecting that to happen with my first fight with a cannibal, uh, me not doing so well, um, so... Okay, guys, you know what? I am just going to end the episode off here, and then after I get off camera, I'm going to try to find my way out. But, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video if you did, and um, please like and subscribe if you want to see future content like this. Also, I have recently created a DeviantArt account, um, and I will have a link to my um, profile on DeviantArt down in the description below, and um, I will also be sure to... Um, yeah, you know, just try to get out of here. So, um, th so anyway, guys, this is Just the Savage, a.k.a. the Spectrum Gamer, and um, I will see you guys in Episode 2.